In this video we will cover the FireNet network settings for the 2X series fire panels. The first step is to run the PCC application. Before making any changes, a confirmation is required that configuration created applies to regional safety regulations, and you are aware of the potential risks. Confirm this window by clicking OK. Now start from opening your site project or creating a new one. Now click on the panel you want to modify, expand it, and find the FireNet options. The network mode configures the panel operation type in network. The regular panel may run as a standalone unit, networked panel or repeater. By default it's standalone, when the panel does not connect to the FireNet. Networked means processing and displaying only remote events in zones inside the range of zones of the panel, while the repeater will show everything from panels specified on the repeated panels tab. If the panel is to be included in the FireNet network, it is necessary to install the internal 2010-2 NB network board. Each network board has two ports, point-to-point -point connected to the corresponding ports on the next control panels. Once mounted and wired, don't forget to activate the network card on the expansion boards tab. Global control sets if you want the panel to send commands to the other panels, selected on the network panels tab. Choose no if commands should only apply to the local panel. The network class option will select what is your network configuration wiring, class A, a ring, or class B, a bus. In the event filter you can select the events to be presented from other panels in the FireNet. The panel always displays alarms and alerts, but faults and condition reporting may be filtered out. The command filter is a selection of commands sent to the FireNet in control panels with configured global controls. An option to reset. Silence the panel buzzer. Sounder start stop. Sounder delay. Fire routing start stop. Fire routing delay. Fire protection start stop. Fire protection delay. And day night mode changeover. To configure which other panels in the FireNet network your panel should communicate with, you need to use the Networked Panels and Repeated Panels option. If you have chosen a networked mode for your panel, then it is required to select which other panels are going to be networked to. This is done by simply clicking on the ID number of an existing panel in the network, so that its icon appears in blue. If you set the panel to be a repeater, then you have to specify which panels are to be repeated. After applying this configuration, your panel will be ready to cooperate with others in one FireNet network. 